speak of the Messiah. Well, the Messiah might yet show up, but the Hebrew plumber. <laughs> One day, my kitchen tap started to leak. I spent the next few weeks trying to get my local plumber, in fact, any plumber, to come out and spend a few minutes of his valuable time doing what is supposed to be his job. I resign myself to a per per I resign myself to a permanently leaking faucet. So it was some surprise when three months later, Stokes the plumber arrived unexpectedly and proceeded to fix the tap. Now it's worth recalling here the Chinese water torture, in which water is dripped in measured beats on the victim's skull, slowly driving him insane.
two or three times more expensive than a shave. Stops, um, what's more difficult for you, to shave or fix a tap? To fix a tap? Why? Well, you see, with a good razor, a weak beard like mine comes off right easy. But I'll tell you, a 10 centimetre tap like that, now that takes a lot of hand Stop, weight. stop. I think I've got it. I know of a very similar case. Only three days ago, they hauled an entire sofa to the third floor for 60 shekels. 70. <laughs> All right, 70. What's the difference? Well, of course there's a difference. We live on the second floor. The tap's not nearly as heavy as a sofa. Now, look, it's getting late, Mr. Kish. Uh, so, so what's keeping you? Why don't you just make up your mind? We thought all along you were going to tell us how much we owe you. It's always the one who gets paid that names his price. Ah, so that's all right then, because you're the writer, Mr. Kish, and you get lots of money. So please tell me price. This is too ridiculous for words, so help me. Okay. 10, 20, 50 shekels, 100, 1,000 shekels! Oh, now, Mr. Kinshaw, 1,000 shekels, I mean, that's a right lot of money for a poor man like me. No, I've done the job, I've fixed your tap really thoroughly, so you just pay me as much as you like. Oh, as much as I like, as much as I like. I'm trying to blackmail me. You may use these tricks on people with weak nerves, but not with me. Me to finish with people like you is as easy as that. So for the last time, how much do I owe you? All right. I put in two new washers. You don't charge for the filing. Oh, yes, I do now. <laughs> it's 6.30. I've done that job thoroughly, Mr. Keyshawn. i fixed that tap really proper. So you just pay me, let's say, oh, as much as you like. <laughs> Why do you keep looking at that blasted watch? I don't know, really. I haven't got any hands. And I took out all the units. Needs a complete filing job. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't excite my husband. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, man, but am, am I to blame if I'm not confident in business? Not rash like something. <laughs> you? Shy? You're a bloody leech, that's what you are. Do you take me for a complete idiot? No, no, no. I always exaggerate. Do it for less. How much do I owe you? As much as you can spare. How much do I owe you? Oh, for pity's sake, don't get so excited. Right, this gangster's going to give me a heart attack. Here, take ten shekels and beat it. Ten shekels? When washers cost twelve. Some people, stinking misers. Dirty swine, miserable. Oh, get out! Oh dear. Mr. Keyshawn, you brought this old iron. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll pay for the soldering iron. I'll pay for the fire. I'll pay for the washing. I'll pay for everything. Now, how much to fix that bloody soldering iron? As much as you like, Mr. Kinshaw. 